last time on Master Baker. I've made peace with death. Day four was the most traumatizing yet, as three streamers with no baking experience competed to win two thousand dollars and a box of HelloFresh. There's no save today, chat. Under the watch of guest judges Emma Longevin and Ted Nivison. Your mother never loved you. Oh, yeah, and that's true. <laughs> what is your job, Ted? Hmm? And that sweater. Uh, looking like a sexy little snack. Oh. Starring Caroline. What the f is doll in there? What the f is doll in there? Slime. You're gonna be a good little boy. Yes, chef, I'll be a good boy for you, chef. And Squee X. I hope I said that right. <laughs> go to the bathroom and go jerk, jerk one out. Okay? Go start jerking your weed. Baking their most complex pastry yet cream puffs. Oh god. And if that wasn't enough, the atmosphere in the kitchen turned hostile very quickly. What are you a are you a freezing Victorian child? The bakers felt the pressure more than ever. I specifically remember asking you to go jerk one off. They began to break. Can we call the police? <laughs> I'm down on my knees. After an hour of emotional abuse, they managed to present. Squeex decided to not put the cream in the puffs. So, what's going on with this theme of cum in your... Are you kidding me? You're just gonna... Slime surprised all with his key lime cream puffs. I can go to the That's bathroom good. again if you want. Did you, oh, to jerk it off? I told him to do it. I think you were doing it on your own accord. <laughs> and Caroline? Well... In desperation, she attempted to force feed her puffs to the judges. They did not like this. Who are you to denounce my creativity? What a ridiculous <laughs> question to ask me. Who am I? I'm, I'm here specifically as a judge. In a devastating turn, it became all too obvious that Caroline was gone. Now, only Slime and Squeex remain. Who will become Twitch's first master baker? Who will join the other baker's corpses at the bottom of the LA River? Will there be a second season? This that was not so show fun. sucks. I will not be doing this again. Will I, the undead ghost of JHB, get my revenge? Find out now on the season finale of Master Baker. Welcome back to Master Baker. As a quick recap, it's been a long, long week of tumultuous baking, the hardest sport that there is. And today is the finale. We have a whole set, a huge table of judges, as well as our two competitors, <laughs> who look very, very intimidating. <laughs> yeah? Squeaky Slime, friends. they're back. They're good, sure. confident. And we'll focus on our judges right now. We'll get back to them. Over here in this corner, we have, we have Jody here. Hello. Jody, tell them about yourself, as well as your experience with baking, cooking, eating. Hi. I don't know anything about myself anymore. I'm nervous. Oh, um, in terms of okay. cooking, I know nothing as well. I, mm -hmm. I, I would too put eggs in frosting. Okay. What's your experience with eating? I eat pretty often. Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah, I like eating. Do you think you'll be able to tell what is good and what is not? Yeah. Okay. Tina, Tina is next door. Tina is Hello. drawing a beautiful picture. What the heck? Oh. Oh, Sorry. just doodling my notes, you know. I hear something too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're drawing oh. together. Yeah, they're a little different here, the drawings. Um, um, so, Tina, I assume maybe creativity and presentation will mean a lot to you today. Oh, yes, of course. You know, they say the eyes eat first. Um, so, you know, I also eat a lot. I eat everything. Not picky when it comes to ingredients. Very picky on how it's prepared. Ooh, uh -oh. yeah. So, my eyes will be peeled for presentation. I watch many baking shows. Uh, she's the tough judge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Atrioc is here. Very yeah. excited. Woo! Oh, boy. Woo! I don't know if you guys noticed, Slime has a unique apron on. What are you talking about? This is one she it's gave me. <laughs> I'm sure I, I did not give it so that. So I, I, you know, I chose my shirt oh. as well. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even it's a joke. Either. Obviously, I'm going to be super unbiased. And I really, I want to Shit. eat the best food today and give the best results. And JHB back from the dead. Hi, how's it going? Uh, JHB, if you haven't met me before, uh, I interview creators. I have some experience in the kitchen. There's me cooking. Uh, you don't need to show food. us. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. Security, you didn't believe me. I'm sorry. I'm good in the kitchen. I thought it was the cupcake. Oh. It was going to make me nauseous. Oh, okay. I believe you're good in the kitchen. Um, I believe you're 
better at knowing what tastes good and what doesn't. Oh, that's true. That's because true. you definitely know what doesn't taste good. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> There's a judge now. Dude. What did we learn? Today? What did we learn? That I'm not good in the kitchen. <laughs> It's been a week, you two. A whole week? It's been a whole it's been week. A lot. You it's guys, this is the first night to five in a while. Huh? In a while, yeah. <laughs> what are you guys most nervous about today? You know, I'm, I'm honestly, I think I think we're going to have to make a cake. I, I feel like that's like your thing, and that's like the finale, so I've been centered my mind around that. Uh -huh. And if that is the case, it's the fall game. Uh, what are you nervous about? I'm just nervous about baking. You know, like I have, uh, I'm just going to be completely honest. I have no idea how I... I want here. I barely squeaked by, and uh, my Mario speedrunning has prepared me of failing over and over again and having the delusion to continue. So uh, I think here we are, and we'll see. Maybe this will be the run. Well, everybody, as you know, we have the grand prize of two thousand dollars, as well as a box of Hello Fresh. Let's go. Let's go. As well as the title of Master Baker. Uh, here's our trophy. I. No. <laughs> no. That's fine. It'll come in the mail. It's like in our mind. Yeah. It's in your heart. Yeah. 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 Trophies, they break and people don't. I'm not really a trophy girl. No, I'm not a trophy competitor. I didn't want one. I'll make one. Okay. We will get That'd one. That'd be great. It'll just be Ludwig's balls. <laughs> Painted gold. I have so many of those already. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh, they almost ran I'll, that one campaign for merch. I'll think of some else. <laughs> All right. Well, there will be a trophy for sure. Now it's talking about Ludwig's balls. I'm sure everyone's hungry. <laughs> I'm sure that was really I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starved. <laughs> Our two finalists are here to approach a wedding cake. This is my specialty. For an example today, I'm just gonna show you a chocolate cake. This is a pretty basic chocolate cake. First thing you need to do is bloom your cocoa powder. What that means is you're gonna take a very hot liquid and you're gonna open up your cocoa powder so you're more likely to have good flavors of chocolate, some nuances, it's great. So we're gonna add that hot coffee and we're just gonna let that bloom. We are going to take our dry ingredients so this is our flour, our baking powder, our baking soda, and our salt. And we mix that in here. Now, we're going to start with our sugar and our eggs. Mix them until light and fluffy. You're always going for light and fluffy when you're working with the sugar. Think of your egg as glue in recipes. It glues everything together. We're going to mix vanilla and our oil. That is all mixed together. The fun part, alternating additional wet ingredients with our dry ingredients. So we're gonna mix our cocoa powder in with our buttermilk. So add half your dry, that looks good. Now half of my wet, the rest of your flour, and then the rest of our liquid. Also, this is the last episode, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. My guesses of who's competing right now are Caroline and Stans, and if I'm wrong, this is embarrassing, but that's just who I'm guessing. All right, that is combined. We're just going to scoop this in here as evenly as you can. All right, now I'm gonna put these in the oven for around 20 to 30 minutes these will take. Frosting, let's just start with vanilla buttercream. Heat your butter. Powdered sugar, you need powdered sugar because if you use granulated sugar, you will have chunks of sugar in it. That is looking great. We're going to add vanilla extract and our salt. I'm gonna add just a little more powdered sugar. And here is a basic vanilla buttercream all done. Now that your wedding cake is out of the oven, grab your cake in one single motion. This is because I was lazy with oiling my pan. You should really use parchment paper when you're making round cakes. 
Now we're gonna put these in the freezer so then we can get to frosting. All right, now the hardest part about the wedding cake challenge is this. I have my cake cooled. We have to assemble and decorate it. A little bit of a raspberry liqueur in here. There's our beautiful pink frosting. Time to frost and assemble these cakes. So we're gonna get ourselves a piping bag. First we do our dirty coat, which means we're sealing all of our crumbs in. So I'm just gonna give it some random bit of frosting right there. And then I'm going to come in here and make my dam. Inside of our dam is gonna be our filling. Today I'm doing raspberry jam. And we're just gonna spoon that in there. Take our next stack it like that. Then just a quick frost to get all those crumbs sealed in. If it starts leaning, this is when you can correct it. And we're just going to go over this and give it a nice even coat of frosting using our piping bag. And a plop right there. Come in here and then we just smooth. Now I'm gonna throw this in the freezer and repeat with the bottom layer. Now both of our cakes are frosted. It's time for assembly. Come right underneath, grab it, and then place it, forehead. And now then just some decorating. So most important thing about your cake, choose your front. I'm gonna throw this lovely <laughs> rose on it. My cat is being crazy. And then some edible gold leaf. Voila, there she is. All right, talk to us about your design. Uh, so I want to just make a classic vanilla type cake, mm -hmm. but I want to have like a chocolate drizzle on it. Mm -hmm. And I really, really want to make it Mario related. Okay. So I'm looking for any sort of Nintendo toy. Uh, and then I also want flowers. Welcome to my office. That's so funny. She's just sitting <laughs> on the toilet. Pooping. That's crazy. I'm, I'm pooping. All right. All right. All right. So, what do you have uh, for us? This is my concept. It's Pablo Escobar's narco wedding, <laughs> and so it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a, a almost a diorama of a, a narco stronghold in Colombia in the in the early nineties. <laughs> okay. um, so so the bottom is gonna be like a green frosting to indicate that they're in the in the forests. And then the top. Do you want maybe little toy trees? Yeah, stuff like that okay. would be good. So uh, miniature trees. Something I know craft stores have those. Something crucial is gummy sharks. You know the blue gummy sharks? I want them in the water to okay. protect Pablo and his Sicarios. <laughs> good. Uh, you know, if you step into the moat. Yeah. Do you need any special fruit or anything like that? Or any flowers? No, no. Okay. Um. Turn on fan here. <laughs> yeah. Chefs, there's one more thing you get today that you had no other day. At any point, so choose this very wisely, you can buzz in and you can have help from me for five minutes. What? Five what? minutes. I'm getting extra points for refusing your help, Chef. No. Sorry, you refuse all of this. My gentleman's agreement, Chef. Supposed to be interesting, but I guess I guess you guys don't need me. I guess I guess the students have become the teachers. All right. Okay. Your time starts now. I'm really going by ear. I'm playing jazz. Like I might put an extra egg if I'm not happy with its consistency. I just want it to look like a cake. It's like what I'm really going for. So you give this baking soda, baking powder. I still want the difference, which is annoying. It tastes the same. I'll taste. Oh. That's not good. What's your guys' favorite flavors of cake? Oh my, I love a cream cheese frosting. Confetti! Ooh, confetti, yum. What was the flavor you made at my wedding? Banana, lemon, and blueberry. It no, the banana it was the and, it was banana and cream cheese, lemon and blueberry, and then I think chocolate raspberry, does that sound right? That was the last cake I had. I'm judging this by that. Well, that cake tasted good. <laughs> that cake did taste good. I didn't grease my pants. What are you gonna do? You I'm gonna put it in the Everyone's talking about a baby Because I don't yeah. want to the shirt. Can you answer to that? What's, what say you? I think I put way too much butter in there. If you were in this competition, when do you think you would buzz in for your five minutes of help? Um, actually, right at the beginning. I feel like yeah. this part thing is matter, so right at the beginning. Yeah. It is yeah, interesting. Ask questions. I would take five minutes at the beginning and just ask you every possible thing. Yeah, they could do that. Oh Jesus! It's like an instrument. It's not how you like do that. a spoon. You're gonna hurt yourself. Turn it up. Oh. Oh, I am so stressed right now. I hate this. It's not music. Oof. 
Okay, last batter, I made a mistake of putting the sugar in the dry stuff, but this one I hope to be stronger. So we'll see. How many much of those pan how many pans are you going to do today? This one and this one. Perfect. I know Tina loves a three tier cake, but I cannot I cannot do it. Crazy slimes back and down. Last uh, few days in the tournament, so I was talking a big game at this point. What's going on, man? It's because I'm locked in, you piece of Yeah, well, maybe uh, zoom out a little bit. You know what I mean? I will. I can't actually say anything. <laughs> anything to anyone. It's always banned on Twitter. No, no. <laughs> Don't come get me again. All right. Cake going in the oven. Are you proud of them? Y yeah. I have no feelings. I'm way happier with this batter, which is pog, but also dog. Well, it's a little weird because it should be the same. It should be. That's exactly why it's dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but if this, if the other one's like way worse, I'm just going to use this and cut it in two. There's a cake out of the oven. Not bad. I tried both batters and they're better than I thought. Oh, that's exciting. Is the batter the hard part? Uh, uh can, more, can be. JHB likes it. I like it. Okay. They're different. I want this one to cool for five minutes. Out, and then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. On a different clean plate. It's a little fluffy. I was just seeing. I was just touching it. Oh, do this, you piece of shit. Well, well, well. Yeah, go ahead. Making cream cheese because he knows it's something you like, cheesecake kitchen. I tried this yesterday. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? He is yeah. setting himself up for failure. Hi. Slime? I'm talking about you. Says a guy who literally makes slime every freaking week. What are you talking about? He makes slime. He makes his goopy. You should have seen his cupcakes. It was. <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> JHP well, making Chemical X saved me for sure. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have gotten any of <laughs> Actually, a homie. What is that small packet that you were adding? This is gonna be my uh, in-between layer filling. It's just vanilla jello oh. pudding. And How did you know to add that? Because it's over there. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, chef. All right, of course, of course. <laughs> so now, what are you doing? I'm working on my frosting, cream cheese, and I'm trying to make it like a vanilla -y, so there's gonna be a, the frosting I'm gonna cover the cake in. Uh, I really wanna be careful about not making it look like wet. <laughs> so I'm trying to add powdered sugar, just visually. Have you made cream cheese frosting before? I have, and it was horrible. I'm gonna be honest. So this, I'm just this is a shot in the dark right now. It's basically a big. I put too much in that. I did it yet again. Okay. Uh, and I need to restart. Dude, it's just. Oh, dude, it's just gooey in there. I'm gonna use my five minutes. You're using it now? Yes. Slime is using his five minutes. Okay, I five need minutes? help making right, this batter. Otherwise, you're gonna have things in it. Okay. Something that you keep doing is you are not adding enough 
powdered sugar consistently. You should probably use this whole thing. Really? Yes. All of this powdered sugar? Yes. Where's, where's your cake? My cake is being, is one of them is in the... Uh... Okay, well, if you have the issue of getting out, let me show you how to get out. I'm pulling it away from the side a little bit. Yeah. Without being too aggressive, because if you're too aggressive, it's just going to rip. So you're just going to go around your side. Pull slowly. Okay, I do have a question. You be really patient, yes. I was thinking of doing the double boil chocolate and making it as this like a This is a big by the way. It's not? Nope, that's batter right there. Okay, there you go. For my uh, filling, I was gonna do strawberry jam. Okay. And what do you think I should mix with? I should've just gonna do it. That's a great idea. Okay. Yes, so do you know how to make whipping cream? Uh, well, isn't there whipping cream like right here? Yes, but how do you make it? You just whip it. No. Okay, so <laughs> whipping cream, what you're going to do, yes, you do whip it, you're going to put it in the, you're going to do about two cups of this yeah. to a half a cup of powdered sugar. So you're going to add a half a cup of powdered sugar to this, as okay. well as vanilla, and then you're going to have flavor whipped cream. Otherwise, you just have a really gross flavor. Okay. And then you're going to add your um, your jam. jam. What's really, really important about a whipped cream filling is your cake has to be cold. Okay. I can't say it enough. Your cake is warm, you're just going to have a foam again. Okay. Yeah. Um, there is also um, the cornstarch. If you add just a little bit of cornstarch to this, it'll help your whipping cream stabilize. Okay. What else do you think would make this go above and beyond? Um, you could still salvage this, okay. I would like to say, just so it's not close to waste, but I would wait for more, salvage. more cream yeah, cheese. Your hey, whip your cream cheese alone first okay. until it's spreadable, and then add your powdered sugar. Okay, we'll do okay. Perfect. All right. Two, Thank you. One. All right, they're now loaded. They're loaded with information. How do you guys feel about you were doing everything wrong? No. I mean, yeah, but I wasn't going <laughs> to I wasn't going to start them over. I wasn't going to say, "Here's a recipe, start over." Other they they will not have time to finish if they were to start over their batters now. So it wasn't worth me giving them a new recipe. It was more I just did pivoting with what they have. starting over as an option. I did. I that did. Is present I well, their recipes are not as structurally sound as I think they'd hope they are. It's not so you tell them how to resolve the issue. Yeah, but I was kind of just saying this is how we pivot and make what you have currently more special. All I heard was oh, you have the option There's of serving this gooey. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, <laughs> Squeaks' cake out of the oven was not finished baking. Only one cake. Why is he making his frosting when his cakes aren't in the oven yet? That doesn't make any sense. Hey guys, they're both messing up a lot out there. They should both have their cakes in the oven. That's the first step. They should just get them in the oven. They should keep them in the oven. They should not think to myself, let me see one finished because they are not um, knowledgeable enough to adjust their recipes for them to be uh, successful anyway um, based off of just seeing how it bakes. So it would be more important for Slime to get that stuff in the oven right now um, than it would be for him to make frosting right now. Same with squeaks. Um, also something that you're noticing is those ovens with the windows, those are convection ovens, so they bake hotter. So 350 degrees is almost closer to 375. Convection means there's a fan in there, and fan is moving the, the hot air around. So it's just, it's just a more even bake, and it's better. So squeaks is at a detriment by using that um, other oven, and he doesn't realize it. That is their number one mistake right now, is they should just be focused on getting cakes baked. They should not be focused on their filling or anything else. Sorry, we had to go to the bathroom. All good. Yeah. Me and chat. <laughs> we went to the bathroom. So what I'm gonna do is for the top, I'm gonna make chocolate. Um, I think that that would free me up from having to frost something uh, so intensely. Because it's supposed to be brown. The stronghold is brown. I'm lost. <laughs> I don't know what to focus on. Your information is simply overloaded us. I think yeah, it did. I'm like, yeah, this is a good thing because it didn't like. I tried to use the five minutes as. No, no, it was good because it didn't like. It didn't like change the game, right? It didn't yeah, no. give us an advantage. It just it opened us up to the horrors of what we're doing wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know that I'm up, but I don't know how to. Yeah, and that's kind of mixed. What? I told I. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> One teaspoon emulsion. So they measure this shit in teaspoon on the bottle, which yeah. is probably saying, hey, don't use too much. But they also never met a dude like me. Chatting to the bathroom?
Something about using flavoring. He's using coconut. You shouldn't just use coconut. You should think about what goes well with coconut. So you could even think lime and coconut. That'd be fun if you made a coconut cake and a lime frosting. Great. Um, coconut raspberry, that's good. Raspberry frosting, you know. When you add extracts, you should always add the natural as well. We have shredded coconut in like our pantry. I don't think he'll use that, but it would be so freaking good if he used that. And none of them listen to any of my advice. No cakes out of the oven yet. No cakes out of the oven. Are you gonna, are either of you concerned about having a cake available today? Uh, when are they gonna finish or not? You're the pro. Oh, well. It's not looking good. <laughs> your, your blink once is yet. So your cake is out of the oven. Yeah, this is the test run. We're gonna see if it feels good. I'm also testing how to like handle it uh -huh. afterwards. So you said get the out of there. Okay, I worked in a, a deli when I was 15 and I was doing prep and I made like pudding or something. I, I licked my finger because I got the pudding on it. My boss, Jason, grabbed my hand and was like, do not ever do that. And so now I have like a Pavlovian like- Damn. I'll never do that. All right, he is checking the oven. It is raw. I don't know why. I'm freaking out. Like raw. I don't think I have enough time, so I might have to just split my cake that I have, which is not cooked all the way. <laughs> you know, the cake has to be two layers. Yeah. You know what that means? Two cakes. Two tiers. Yeah, but what if I like cut right here? So it has to be two different sizes on top of each other. <laughs> Two tears. Well, that's horrible, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. I need more sugar. What? Why would you do that? What? Touch it? You're taking such a big slice out of it. I don't know. Now you can't use that. Oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. These are your oh. finalists, cutie? Dude, I don't know what they're doing. These are the doing. best of the best. Wait, they are cracking under pressure. Uh, one week of time, and I, I, five the one thing, time. The one thing I've taught them this whole week is no matter what, just have something baked. Yeah. And instead, Slime has taken his cake out, taken a slice out of it to eat and try. <laughs> so now he cannot use that cake. Why? And essentially... It like no one wants that. I told you well, we want a cake, I, I don't like biscuits in here. It is better to have something on the plate than nothing at all, chefs. So true. Unless you're James Bond. <laughs> true. It may be a blank plate. Uh, they have an hour and 16 minutes. What are you doing? Frosting. Okay. I'm doing it by hand. Why? Because I don't. It's coming out looking like disgusting. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put sweat in it. It's better. It's way worse. He added so coconut. Yeah, coconut. Jake, me taste my f***ing batter, you beautiful man. I did, it was really good. You all right? It's good, yeah. Is sir. That, is that the coconut? It is, sir. It's good. Would you like to taste my cornbread as you wait? No, I just take a small piece. You don't have to. Why is it I don't want it. Well, because, you know, uh -uh. I want to see it. Uh-uh. I want to see it. You love it. Uh -uh. I want to see it. Bad idea. Wait, cutie, is this supposed to be a different size? I thought they were making them supposed to be like that. No, so like a two-tier cake. Have you guys ever been to a wedding? Oh. I was at Adrian's wedding. You were. You saw his I cake. His, I was his best man. You were not his best man. You weren't even invited. You showed up. Wasn't that crazy? <laughs> And I gave that speech and he cried. I cried because he wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> that was a good speech. He's got his frosting made. He's almost gotten his frosting made. Do either of you have your fillings made? No. I forgot. I feel like cornstarch <laughs> is not good for a filling. <laughs> I don't think that's... A, but does cornstarch make, make it thick? He doesn't remember my advice. I don't remember cuties. They all had pens. They did all have pens. That's okay. I put in like a dot. Surely that will ruin my jam, right? What else is in there? Jam and whipping cream. Okay, does this look horrible? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't think that's good feedback. <laughs> uh, looks like cornbread. I, I dropped the temperature down Ooh, too. Don't I touch wanted, that. I wanted it to be a. Uh, I wanted it to be a little Oh, that looks so lovely. Does it? They say it looks like. It looks like vomit. Yeah. Yeah. We still got the decorator. Yep. It makes me sad that I can't hold You know, maybe they can, they, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So Squeaks was supposed to make the whipping cream, which I feel like, maybe I'm wrong. I feel like I told him exactly how to make whipping cream. Slime is stressing me out because he ate an Almond Joy, which I said has all the flavors and components that would be good for his filling. 
and then grabbed white chocolate chips. I don't think they've learned anything. All right, Taylor is here with your decorations. Okay. So we're downtown. I got some flowers. Great. Okay. And I got like tr fresh strawberries and a bunch of Mario toys. So, he, like, he just wanted the toys. For I just himself. wanted the toys. Just like take advantage of the situation. All right. <laughs> you look at these. So I'm going. Oh, his little oh, trees. trees. Yeah. Umbrellas. His umbrellas. Uh, the crucial. Peace de resistance. That was, yeah. Wow. Wait, that is actually so cool. That's so cool. I want to make a Mario cake now. No. Well, okay. Do we have aluminum foil? Oh, boy. I'm going to put aluminum foil on the bottom and then take it out right before we're going to present it. You would just put the jam on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, he asked to make whipped cream. He asked to make strawberry whipped cream. So I explained to him how to make whipping cream, which is you whip the whipping cream and then you can add jam into it and that will make strawberry whipped cream but instead he just added the whipping cream without whipping it and just made goo but yeah you could have just spread jam that was an option too it would have been just like easier it would have he makes it so hard it does he does yeah. <laughs> yeah what is your plan with the pineapple this will be my filling mmm pineapple filling yeah I think it'll it'll complement the coconut well hopefully hide it for the four year old at the table what are your thoughts? What would you do different? I would redo everything and <laughs> buy a cake. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That. He's eating some. Wow. I am. He is. They're pulling it together. Oh, the pineapple is in. Did you add anything to the pineapple, or is it just raw pineapple? Raw. Okay. At JHB, which cake do you look forward to most to tasting today? I don't know if I want to say, but I do want to say that Squeaks looks more appealing right now. Really? Interesting. I'm scared of the inside. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I All should. right. I see. I'm scared of that part, but the outside part looks good. Oh, interesting technique. Why are you choosing to do this? I want it to look prettier, and I want it to look more like a castle. I see. So, this is my only choice here. There's much more hustle from this side of the kitchen. Yeah, I don't want to, like, ruin it. I see. I'm very happy with how it looks. I know the chocolate tastes good. Do you think potentially you could clean it up a little bit? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I could on the sides, but I don't want to, like, ruin these lines. Uh-huh. I, I they look I'm gross. Uh, It'd be really smart I'm to wipe his uh, stand. He's made chocolate frosting relatively quickly. Give me a little bit. There he goes. It is applying. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And for Master Baker! The last time of Master Baker sets hands up. It's time, judges, to, to judge. Alright. I'm ready. Squeeze. Yes. I'm gonna have you start. Okay, here is my cake. Oh! Wow. So, this is a, uh, like, sort of a Super Mario 64 inspired cake. Mm -hmm. um, basically, the outside is a vanilla frosting with a uh, fruit, all for, like, general jam uh, filling. And then it also is topped with chocolate and uh, strawberries, and there's like a little story going on on top where Mario and Peach are getting married with their, you know, best man with Bowser scheming in the background, barely oh, peeking over the cake. Okay. All right, thoughts, judges. What are we thinking? I mean, I think we can all agree. No. Missing a really beautiful part. <laughs> yeah. What happened? So, I didn't know what a two-tier cake was. Right. I had no idea. Uh, but, uh, you know, there are two cakes. They are not of different sizes. They are different diameters, yeah. technically. Well, that's just inconsistent. That's just like my <laughs> So maybe, maybe in some perspective it's a double tier. It's but... a little lie a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just want to be, I just want to tell the truth. I didn't know what it looked like. Points for honesty? Yeah. You copped out. You had enough time to do a second tier. I did? Very much so. Absolutely. Okay. Um, you're a pussy. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll go myself. Okay. Yeah. So... <laughs> You, you screwed yourself the same way you did with the 
cupcakes on the very first day, if it's challenge, it's challenge. So in order for your cake to still win, it needs to taste really freaking good. Um, one of the number one things I told you when I gave you a frosting recipe is that you should have used all of that powdered sugar you had on your table. Yeah. You oh my God, that. you're right, you did. Um, no for matter what, with cream cheese, without cream cheese, you needed to use all that powdered sugar. Yeah. So your buttercream, I already know, is going to be very, very buttery. And you sat there saying it's very, very buttery. You just needed to use more of your powdered sugar. Bro. Yo, cool. Oh, you're so cool, Sly. Where, where am I going? Oh, some cake. Okay, that's fair. Right. That's fair. Um, cleaning up your base would be prettier than having chocolate stripes on your bottom, because right now you have a bunch of melted frosting, and it doesn't look super appetizing, right? You then yeah. covered it with sprinkles, which yeah. is an option. It's a choice. I also, your cake, I pointed out, was raw. I said you can either serve this raw or oh, throw yeah, it back yeah. in the oven. You did decide to serve it a little raw instead of throwing it back in the oven. Why? It was well. I mean, like I passed like my. I don't know if it's like fully raw. Like it's still like cooked. It might be a little <laughs> doughy. It's yeah, a little, it's just a little doughy. doughy. Right. Yeah. I do really like your uh, design, though. And Thank you. This, this I thought this design would have killed at like a ten-year-old birthday party. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Maybe not ten-year-old birthday party, but like a ten-year-old birthday party. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, so <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. No, no, like compliment. Yeah, no, complimentary. Like other, yeah. So let's think. Uh, I like pumpkin, right? So what? What can I? I have this pumpkin spice in my hand. What can I put with this? Uh, I like pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. So let me do pumpkin chocolate instead. Let me. Yeah, yeah. When are you having pumpkin and raspberry? Um, or strawberry? Uh, so that's kind of a nice base to figure out how to pair uh, flavors. But I do, I like what was attempted. I like that you went a bunch of different directions with it. It's crazy that you didn't take one note during our five minute breakdown. I, I just got so overwhelmed, Judy, I'm not gonna lie. You were so confident. <laughs> I, I, well, I was I like, thought, he's got it. He knows how to make frosting. But then I was, like, I was like, okay, the cream cheese is a deal. I'll remember that. And then I went to do the something with the chocolate. And I came back and I was like, I forgot everything. I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. It's not all. It's not all lost. You did successfully make a cake in the yeah. category. Is it a cake? You have done it. There's a. There's a lot to that we'll have to deliberate. Sure. For sure. But awesome. thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Finish this slice. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you guys. Slime, please present us your cake. This is my uh, Escobar's wedding adventure uh, cake. Um, it's got a. I, I made a coconut flavored. Um, what do you call it? Dough batter. So there's coconut uh, flavor inside of there. My filling is a pineapple puree. So I went for this whole kind of tropical uh, getaway sort of vibe. Uh, these are gummy sharks. I requested these and they, they protect uh, the tree where the money is buried, I guess. The top looks like a meow mix. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a name brand. <laughs> so. I love that you did like, um, like piping, pipe work. And you have a clear understanding of like two tiers. So that was really yeah. good. And it's huge. I think I would be afraid to give this to Pablo Escobar. <laughs> I would too. I thought about that as well. I don't think he'd like it. I do like that aspect yeah. of the story of the sharks protecting the it's, island. It is yeah. nice to agree with this good. stuff. Yeah, dig it. You guys, <laughs> you guys are the real heroes. <laughs> Tina found it here. No! Can I be here? They can't be mine! Sorry, this is my dog. Alright, Jody, feedback. Do you have a vomit bucket? Or... <laughs> I have an okay. apron. I liked it. I feel like it had purpose. The flavors, I think coconut and pineapple go together. Chocolate was kind of left field, but it, it tasted good. It was like the second tier, you know? I, 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 I'm with it. I'm glad you did the piping because if you didn't, I think it would have been lazy. Like, you didn't even make the tree, gummy sharks, but I love that there was three different colors of frosting, which means there was effort put into the design. Overall, I liked it also very moist, surprisingly. So when I tasted the bottom part, I was pretty disappointed. It wasn't really doing it for me, but I really liked the top part. I actually thought it was way better. I said what in particular was just the chocolate? Yeah, I guess it just had a nice, but it also felt like the, the cake felt uh, very, like, dense and good. I didn't Is there less solid. coconut in your top part? I also don't like coconut. Really? But yeah. I couldn't really taste it. It tastes like part. less coconut in the top part. Yeah, I, I didn't taste it in the top That's part. Random. If I had to rank, like, my tasting, it was, like, bottom, then sweet just cake, and then I think top. I like the visual of it, and then the, the moment I cut into it, I didn't get into the top part until later, but in the beginning I got the green and the blue, and that was really good, and then uh, I then dug into the top part, and that's when I later felt the coconut, which I also thought was really good. I mean, overall, I, I, I liked it. Dude, I was so sad when you picked up an Almond Joy, and you said, what goes with coconut? As you were eating almonds and chocolate. I was so sad. But pineapple isn't a bad pivot, uh, you did have the solution literally in your hand. The reason it's it's uh, mushy in between the two layers is because there's so much liquid in the pineapple that it just soaks in your cake, and so then you have soggy cake. The way to prevent that is by doing a thin layer of buttercream because oil, you know, kicks out um, water. They don't like to touch. They don't interact. I'm happy you didn't add any additional sugar to your pineapple because I think it would have been too sweet. I think anyone would be happy to have it at their wedding. <laughs> I think it's very, I think it's very beautiful, girl. Honey. Um, but overall, good. Your buttercream is the best you've made all week. Ooh, yes. So, yeah. I like that you had two tiers. I actually really like the way it was decorated. I thought it was like quite cute. Like, I like um, that you had to think on that. <laughs> well, like, you know, like, like if I really think about it, under the time constraints and all, like all things considered, cute. You know what I mean? The fact that you have three separate like things of frosting, like colors, is impressive to me. I don't know, I thought it was, it was quite good. And the frosting tasted nice. I just right. kept adding powdered sugar. Like, yeah, like, like, like ice. Well, uh, bakers, I'll have you leave the room real quick. Bakers.
Bakers. Today we have a prize of HelloFresh, which anyone can get at home. Exclamation point, HelloFresh. Learn to cook. Anyone to cook with HelloFresh. As well as real money of $2,000. This is a real check. A memo line and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yes. can put HRL sucks if I win. That sucks. Oh. And then the bank will document that. <laughs> It'll be in records forever. Um, judges, why did we choose the winner for today? Follow the instructions, um, overall good crumb despite the lack of recipe, good decor. You know, I even put my personal bias aside, don't like coconut and uh, pineapple was it? yeah, not my favorite, but I thought like you did good. The so big has disappeared. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oh. <laughs> I wonder who won. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around Mario holding a pineapple. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. But you I'm need sorry. to turn in your apron. Oh. Well, this day I knew was going to come. <laughs> and tried. congratulations <laughs> to Sly. Wow. The winner of Mass Wow. Which I did not Where is this <laughs> apron? Isn't that funny? I tried so hard, Sweet. I tried so, so hard. Doing? No, I tried. I argued. <laughs> I, she made me an apron and I said, oh, I'll make my own or what I want to so say on it. It was your beard hair. It was your beard hair. That's not possible. Actually, not possible. Yeah, we're looking at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My dog is white. Uh, look at this beard hair. But you know what? Because sweets and did two tiers and this flavor sucks. I do have a question. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. If he did two tiers, how close is it? Because that's what we were talking about. Well, the cake is it's kind of raw. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. It was it's raw and then dry. It's raw in a good way. It's like, it's like, Really raw and like overcooked and undercooked. It doesn't well, it's raw like good be. rap, you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> love that. You're so sincere. <laughs> Very sorry, Squeaks. Congratulations, Slot. Yeah! yeah. That's oh. so Out of a can, multiple times. With my cat, they share. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> the fact that I it's romantic. It's it's full circle with the meow mix. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. It's actually an homage to Dirk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know he's watching. All right, everybody. That is it. That is Master Baker. Maybe we'll be back next year. Maybe we won't. Uh, big thank you to all of our judges. Woo! Our contestants for the week, even those that were eliminated. Big thank you to Christine who helped set this up. Taylor is the director of the